Okay, so the next feature that VIP has to offer is the setlist feature. So as the topic already suggests that VIP is going to be a mainstay alternative for us. So setlist is the feature that is going to give us this benefit. And for all the mainstay geeks out there, I know VIP is not going to give you 100% of all the features that mainstay offers. But yes, the features of uh, VIP is going to help you for live performances. It also gives you the different uh, parameter handling capacities. So you can uh, tweak and say, so this is basically the set list window. And I have already created a set list called the Indian, which has got most of the Indian instruments that I keep working with often. Probably you might be wondering how this might be useful on a live performance. Okay, so this is the list of instruments that I've got that I'm uh, working for this uh, demo. And now we are on the violin patch. <laughs> Just as I'm on the violin, I all of a sudden want to go into the harmonica. So what I do is I just hit the control change button 7, which is on my MIDI controller. So once I hit 7, it all of a sudden changes to harmonica. Now I've got the... strings I just hit the control change button 8 I go to strings So in a nutshell, we have just discussed what VIP is and what are the main features of VIP and the way you stack different plugins within VIP and the different patches that are available right away, the different effects that can be added as well and the power of multi-instrument rack and the setlist feature. So these are some of things that we had seen today. So going ahead in the next videos probably we'll concentrate individually on creating a set list and creating a multi-instrument uh, presets and how we create a set list and uh, uh, tweaking with the different parameters. So look forward probably in a day or two we'll, I'll be uploading some of the other videos so we can start working with VIP. Thank you.